So, you like math? <laughs> Name every number. Oh, that's easy. Negative infinity and infinity. Maths. Did you guys know that Snorlax shoots his hyper beams out of his eyes? Is that why his eyes are always closed? <gasps> is that why Brock's eyes are always closed? I think the best thing about Gen Z is their dedication to self-care. And by this, I mean when John Mulaney performed at a college and he took a sip of water, the crowd started applauding and someone yelled at him, Hydrate before you dihydrate. Therefore confusing an already confused man even more. Just because you may be book one Zuko now, doesn't mean you can't be book three Zuko someday. Aww, uh, that's really motivating. Also, what? In a game of no consequences, why are you still playing the good side? Because being mean makes me feel bad. Because my no consequences power fantasy is being able to help everyone. Bruh. Fun fact! Crows can talk like parrots do. It requires a process called freeing their tongue. Don't ask. But yes, I want to train a flock of them to say, run, and release them into a hiking trail. I just want to ask, how many nightmares do you want to give people? All of them. Alright, I'ma say it. Skyrim is a bad game because I can't hug my friends or my husband. Maybe I want to let the people in my life know I appreciate them dearly, even if they just have three lines of base dialogue. And before you say something like, Oh, why don't you just play Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing or some other game where you get to be nice to people? Please understand that I enjoy hunting the city guards for sport, but that doesn't mean I'm not full of love. You know, it's a real pity that Avatar The Last Airbender never got a live action film. Isn't it? What a shame. Terrible loss. So true. Absolutely true. No live action movie. No such thing. No. Yeah, your girl just realized that she deleted Tumblr from her phone and like any self-respecting gay, I proceeded to panic. Like, unnecessarily. Like, I can just reinstall it, but like, panic. Mood. My body may be a temple, but I am the god to whom it is devoted. Do not presume to tell me how I may decorate my altar. This is quite possibly the best way I've heard to say I dress how I want to deal with it. There needs to be more things like this. The true American experience is wondering if you just heard firecrackers or gunshots. Please tell me this is a joke! Bonus points. One is illegal in your state, and it's not the gun. No. And challenge mode. It's the 4th of July. Justice is best served cold. Because if it was served warm, it would be just water. <sighs> This one was bad enough to make me slow blink at the computer as I grinned, so therefore I have to inflict it on everyone else too. Damn's the rules. Psh, I'm not susceptible to clickbait. This abandoned shopping mall is full of thousands of fishes. Uh, OP, where's the link, OP? Here's how to simplify American history, or at least how it was discovered. Christopher Columbus essentially commented first on a YouTube video that already had 50 million views. That's it. Dear past self, you fucking idiots. Dear current self, you're also a fucking idiot. And dear future self, still a fucking idiot, aren't you? <gasps> I present to you a D&D &D party made up entirely of orc bards. Don't you mean an orchestra? No! Uh, some people have gone their whole lives not doing the Toothpaste Words Project in school, and it shows. What the fuck is Toothpaste Words Project? Well, little Tim Tim, I'ma educate ya. In class, each student was given a bottle of toothpaste and told to squeeze out every single drop of it. <sighs> Easy, right? And then the teacher says, Okay, put it all back in the bottle. Fucking basketball. You could try to do the nozzle method, you could try to dilute it down, you just, you just, it's, too, it's too small to get in the hole. <laughs> well, so the only thing the students can do is clean all the paste off their desk. Some have no problem, and some struggle. Some people know how to clean, some not, it's fine. When the project's done, the teacher drops some knowledge on all the students. Think of this when speaking or doing certain things to people, because once it's out there, you can't take it back. All you can do is make amends and clean up your mistakes. Some will be easy, and some will be hard. And that little Tim Tim is the Toothpaste Words Project. Area 51. The Chads are broken. The Karens lost. Weebs falling left and right. The Kyles are out of monster. Furries scatter the ground. Gamers' ranks flanked. And the Florida man is overwhelmed. All hope is lost. Until you hear it. 
A loud call from a ram's horn. The trampling of hooves upon the earth. A great stampede approaches. It is them, the ones we had all thought had forsaken us. The greatest groups that we never could have expected. Horse girls, riding their noble steeds into the fray, and riding behind them a race that was thought to be lost. A group that is potentially the holiest for aliens. The Homestucks. May the gods have mercy on Area 51, for they do not know what to expect. Yo, they gonna fuck the aliens.